Hello, I'm Dr. Dean Bonley from Magnetico, and today in our magnetic moment, we want to talk about chelation. What are the different types of chelation? What do they do for you? Pretty well, most chelation helps you a little bit. Some helps you a whole lot more than others, though. To illustrate this, we want to talk today about a man who had a month of chelation because uh, he was his coronary arteries were so blocked that he was on nitroglycerin 24 hours a day. When we, at the end of the month of chelation, he was no better, so he called and says, how come it doesn't work? I said, well, what were they using? I said, he said, well, they put this stuff in your arm and you sat there for two hours while this thing dripped in your arm. I said, that's EDTA chelation. I said, well, what you really need, because I know you have a lot of fillings in your mouth, because we've been out to dinner several times, and what you need is magnochelation. That's a combination of a magnetic pad and, and DMSA. I said, I have stored in your garage there a demo magnetic pad. I said, you get on that and every night, take 500 milligrams of DMSA at bedtime, and call me back in a month. Call me back in a month. Hey, he says, this is wonderful. This stuff really works. I'm off all my nitroglycerin. Now, what was the difference here? Why did one chelation work and not the other? To explain that, the difference really was the magnetic pad, because then we did another study with a cardiologist, and he used EDTA chelation on half of, uh, half of his subjects or his patients, and DMSA uh, with chelation on the other. So we had magnetic pad being used on both groups, and both, both groups uh, using uh, a chelation that was approved to his interest, this because he was a chelation doctor, he found that both of them got rid of the plaque in the arteries because we were measuring that, but the ones on the DMSA just removed it a lot faster. Why did the first doctor not was not successful? Is because he didn't have the magnetic pad. You see, the magnetic pad increases the orbital velocity on the valence electrons, so they're going faster. This causes them to charge up, and when they're charged up, then you enhance the chemistry. This chemistry is in your brain as well as your body, and so the brain is putting out a much higher charge to the cells, resonating the mitochondria in the cells, and the mitochondria in the cells then are putting on a lot more ATP, and ATP charges up the cell wall through the sodium potassium pump. So when you get a high enough charge on the cell wall, out comes the toxic metals into the bloodstream, and either chelating agent will work to bind it. But the problem is, is getting it out of the cells and into the bloodstream where it's easy to grab. And this, as you can see from these experiments, the magnetic pad is the thing that gives the extra oomph for the uh, catalyst to the cells of the body to excrete the mercury and lead out into the bloodstream where it can be easily bound by the chelating agent.